I've been collecting hammers for years and I really love these little hammers that are shop made. And I only know they're shop made because we have a couple of them in our family. And I know that from my father and my father-in-law and my mom, that uh, these were once upon a time high school shop projects, or they might've been made by machinist interns. I love to buy them at flea markets and yard sales. I never pay more than a dollar or two for them, but I can't resist them because they are folk art, in my opinion. Here's my father-in-law, Ray, and he is proudly displaying a ball-peen hammer made by his father, Theodore, sometime between 1920 and 1923 at Roosevelt High School in Chicago. Well, here at my folks' house in Tennessee, there is a drawer in the kitchen, and that has junk and tools. And right here in the top of the drawer is my mom's ball peen hammer. And she's had this thing for as long as I can remember. Where did you so. get this thing anyway, Ma? Well, <clears throat> for a long time, I thought you made it, and then you said you didn't make it, so I asked your brother, and he said he didn't make it, and so then I just assumed that your father made it. Right. So I've had it all these years and could not remember where I got it. I'd find it out in the garage. People would take it and take it different places, and I would always go retrieve it because it's my hammer for the kitchen, and I use it for everything. So I put my name on it so it wouldn't... I, it's just something that I've had for years, and it, it means something to me. So we were puzzling over where this thing came from, and... Uh, it was just hugely coincidental that my Uncle Jerry, who lives in Cottonwood, Arizona, uh, came driving in town after a 1,400 mile drive to visit with us. And the, one of the first things he said when he got here, just totally coincidentally, uh, was, uh, remember that ball peen hammer I gave you? <laughs> Which I, and I'm almost, I really laughed out loud because I had been quizzing mom and dad about this thing for a while. So tell me, where did where did you uh, where did you come by that thing? Uh, I didn't I didn't buy it. I I made it. And, you made uh, it. And I was in Mark Keppel High School in Alhambra, and uh, California. Okay. And that 1951, my senior year, I made this in a machine shop, and uh, I got a, a A minus on it. I didn't get an A plus or anything. Oh, you got points off, huh? Yeah. Do you and, remember uh, what the what the criticism of it was? Any, any, any recollection? The handle wasn't a large enough diameter. Okay. I gave so, this to her on her birthday, and uh, she said thank you very much, and then she forgot where it come from. <laughs> 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 so let's, let's have a look at this thing. So it's uh, it's three pieces, right? It, yeah. There's the shaft to it, and then it's got the head, and then the handle there. Now, how is the... Uh, now, first of all, was it... From a, a design drawing that you made this thing, or did you make your own design on that? I can't remember that far back. <laughs> <laughs> when you made that in the 50s. I bet you never thought we'd be talking about it in 2017. 2017, I didn't think I was going to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for sharing that story. That's just so cool. Oh, by the way, there's only one thing I want out of your estate. You know what that is? What? The hammer? I want that hammer right there. <laughs>